most of the time I, ha I will have a chart or two where I can have reference of the colors I'm using. So here I have, you know, the pajamas are going to be this tone of blue, Lucas and all the shot, all the shots, <laughs> all the scenes will be about this sort of tan yellow and then his color and uh, Juana's hair. There are two actually here. These are, these are for the dots of the pajamas and the consistency of the shadows and Juana's cheeks and her um, flowers and the flowers on her sheets on the bed uh, so that there's some consistency when it comes to the final illustrations. So the easiest way for me to guarantee that I'm really getting to match those colors is I'll use the watercolors and um, just do a couple touches on, on a, just a piece of paper and see if the tone, so here for example the flower sheets, match uh, what I was doing and then move on to the illustration, to the actual illustration. Um, so you can see, you know, a lot of Juana's hair all over and some of the pajamas and some of them not quite, and some of Juana's blazer uh, for her uniform, and so on. So usually I'll end up with crazy amount of sheets that have all these very vibrant colors uh, on the side. And then these are um, for all the ink outlines. Um, I do, uh, I just, uh, I use an old school fountain pen, and so when dipping, the nib, sometimes it becomes a little too clogged and so I have to clean it up and that's why there are so many lines all over the place. Um, and I usually do it on just piece of, pieces of paper where I've drawn drafts before. So here's Juana walking with Lucas. Um, so, you know, just using scraps um, to, to, to do this. And sometimes I end up finding interesting forms or shapes or I end up drawing little birds or um, flowers on, on the color sheets just because I find them fun um, and it gives me a, a little bit of rest from working on the actual art and then I go back to it. So this is my, my recess somehow, not just my reference but also the, the chance to rest my eyes a little bit. First I'll think a lot about the story and try to convey what is going on. Um, there will be cases when I forget certain details that have been written because they have been written and you know, they've gone through editing and things have changed. And so um, that is when working with um, <laughs> a solid team will be very, very helpful. So in some cases, Mary Ellen will, will say, well, when I think you forgot the shadow that you mentioned on this detail, and so I'll go on and, and add that. Um, and that's incredibly helpful. Um, in this case, for Awe, um, I wanted to show some of his love for books um, and so I found this shot um, of, of my grandfather in his later years um, sitting in his studio uh, surrounded by books. And I just thought it would be great to have something like that only a little more organized and, <laughs> and not so overwhelming. Um, so it all started with a very simple sketch um, in this case, I sat him in a different chair. It didn't have to be necessarily factual and up to a T in terms of how his studio worked, but instead trying to convey visually how it felt for me to sit there as a child. And so we would often, he would all, all there are some drawers you probably cannot see, but there used to be a long shelf on this side of the room and he would keep chocolate hidden in some of the drawers. And so, when I would go to visit, he would uh, take out some chocolate um, and, and we would eat together. So I tried to convey that through the drawing in a very simple way. So here we are, I'm sitting on his lap and we're eating chocolate. And then after it went through some revisions, I started to add a lot more details and to construct the scene. So. I, another thing I kept in mind was, um, you know, me around that age and trying to make sure I would retain some of the details. So the pigtails, I'm wearing um, a little barrette, not because of um, a fashion statement, but because my cousin cut my hair. 
Um, so I had to keep a little barrette to keep my hair from, from going all over the place. Uh, and, um, and I decided to keep that in the actual illustration. And then I organized and sort of cleaned up a little bit my grandfather's uh, studio. And there's Lucas with us. Um, my grandfather lived in Chicago for a while, so I decided to put in a little image, um, sort of as a tiny love letter to Chicago, which I think he would have loved. Um, and then trying to think of the different details. So when Abwe is not wearing his glasses, they will still be around. We see his cup of coffee. And so trying to keep consistency throughout the details. And then again, all the sheets of color to make sure that I keep the references of, of the, the color schemes that I'm using are, are very present throughout.